Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this short After Effects tutorial, you will learn to create this nice animation using the echo effect. So let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. I am calling it Echo Animation. As always, I'm using the same resolution and frame rate. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar. Set the fill color to white and ensure the stroke is set to none. Hold down the shift key and draw a small square. Center the anchor point, then align the square to the center. Rename the shape layer if you want. Go to rectangle 1, then to rectangle path 1. Set the roundness value to 100. Select the ellipse tool from the toolbar. Set the fill color to none. Set the stroke to a solid color with a width of 1 pixel. Hold down the shift and alt keys, then draw a circle like this. Center the anchor point, then align the circle to the center. Next, go to ellipse 1, then to path 1. Select path. Press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now, select shape 1 and press the P key to open the position properties. Ensure your time cursor is at the first frame. Select position, then press Ctrl plus V to paste the path. Select the move tool, then manually adjust the path's position as needed. Let's preview it. As you can see, our small circle stops after a few seconds. Let's fix that. Hold down the Alt key and click the position stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type this expression. Now, drag this layer to the left to change its starting point. Then, increase its duration. Let's preview it again. Cool. Now, our small circle keeps rotating around the larger circle. Before we apply the echo effect, we need to change the shape's color. I'm choosing orange, but you can pick any color you prefer. Keep the shape 1 layer selected. Go to the effects and presets. Search for the echo effect and apply it to the layer. Let's adjust some settings. Change the echo time value to negative 0.020. Change the number of echoes to 40. Change the decay value to 0.90. Now, Search and apply the Gaussian Blur on the shape 1. Change the blurriness value to 25. Duplicate the shape 1 layer. Drag the duplicated layer to the left to adjust its starting point. Extend its duration, and also change its color. Now, let's hide or delete the circle layer since we don't need it. Let's preview it again. Cool. Looks perfect to me. By using this technique, you can create even more impressive animations with the echo effect. Now, let me show you another design by tweaking some settings. Set the roundness value to zero for both shapes. Set the fill color to none, and change the stroke color to match the original fill color. Also change the stroke width to 10 pixels, and change the blurriness value from 25 to 5. Let me repeat the same process for the second shape. Select the shape layer 
and press R to open rotation properties. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click this little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type time multiplied by 300. Copy the expression. Select the second shape, repeat the same process. And then paste the expression here. Let's see the final output. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Our echo animation is completed. You can download the project file from my website. Smash the like button if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace.